thank you very much for tuning in and of course for trusting us to inform you tonight. Welcome to the broadcast. Let's begin. Now tonight, a political showdown is expected in Kenya's coastal town city of Mombasa tomorrow during the BBI rally that was originally planned by the opposition ODM before politicians allied to Deputy President Dr. William Ruto confirmed attendance in support of the initiative. Now, a section of politicians allied to ODM leader Raila Odinga have vowed they will not allow their rivals to address the rally. Now, ODM leader Raila Odinga said the rally that was initially to be held at Tononoka grounds has been moved to Mamangina waterfront in order to accommodate an expected larger crowd. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa called for tolerance and open dialogue among leaders moments after a group of youth disrupted a press conference by Dr. William Ruto's allies in Mombasa. Our Patrick Amimo reports. All right. <laughs> Rising tension ahead of the Saturday BBI rally played out when a group of youths disrupted a press conference that had been called by four coast MPs allied to Deputy President William Ruto. The youths, about 30 in number, were armed with stones and other crude weapons. Lawmakers Mohammed Ali and Aisha Jumwa said the youths were hired to deliberately attack and intimidate them. Anasema okay ndio hawa hapa then wanaanza kuitisha pesa zetu sijui tumetudhulumu muda mrefu so me i don't understand history yote mara mwisho nasikia wanaita uhuru kenyata sijui na joho sijui nini hiyo ni kuonesha wazi kwamba hii ni watu wamekuja vizuri wametumwa bbi ya pwani itazungumzia sgr bbi ya pwani itazungumzia masuala ya bandari bbi ya pwani itazungumzia korosho bbi itazungumzia coconut bbi ya pwani itazungumzia extrajudicial killings at the Wild Waters Complex, about 3,000 coast delegates convoyed to brainstorm on the BBI report ahead of the rally. The rally was initially scheduled to be held at Aronoka grounds, but has now been moved to Mamangina waterfront. Kwa watu waje, tunawalika, waje na adabu, na taadhima, waseme yali ambakomba yako katika nyozao, BBI is something about... Uh, all inclusiveness. And there are those ones which require constitutional amendments. So once those are identified, then a bill will be drafted which will capture those particular issues. And then th that bill will be published. And after it is published, then signatures will be collected as required. We are going to go through a popular initiative. The last two BBI rallies organized by Odi Eminikisi and Kakamega so ODM politicians use the podium to attack their colleagues allied with the Deputy President William Ruto for allegedly not supporting BBI. On Tuesday, the William Ruto group threw spanners in the works when they said they'll be attending the Mombasa BBI rally. A section of MPs allied to Raila Odinga are not amused. We want them to insist that unless these people issue an apology, whoever is going to be the master of ceremony, if they come, let them sit wherever it is they are sitting as spectators. Senate Majority Leader Kipchumba Murkomen says he will attend the Coast Region BBI event and claimed some politicians are planning to humiliate leaders allied to Deputy President William Ruto. Speaking at Shirikisho Area Internal Delta Sub County, the Evolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa called for tolerance and sobriety among politicians from the political divide. Tuweze kuwa na mkutano wa amani. Tuweze kusemezana. Tuweze kujua ya kwamba katiba hii inatiba ya mengi ambayo yanakumba taifa letu. Na ni mambo ambayo yanahusu wa Kenya wote milioni ya rubaina saba. Na ni mambo ambayo ni ya manufaa kwa kaunti zetu zote arubaina saba. Kwa hivyo kila mtu anahaki kuwa kwa huo mkutano. For now, politicians have a field day playing poker with the BBI report before the Senator Yusuf Haji-led BBI steering committee releases its timetable of engagements with the public. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.